Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Harsha Ali Khan. So now I'm continuing the problems on dispersion, sorry, skewness. Already four problems we have solved till the last video on skewness. So what is the meaning of the term skewness? I have given one video completely on theory regarding the meaning of the term skewness and the types of skewness and the methods of calculating skewness. Skewness is a study which shows the shape of the distribution or pattern of the distribution. Whether the distribution is skewed or symmetrical. Symmetrical means when equal number of items are lying on both the sides of the central value. That means the number of items above and the number of items below the central value will be equal. Then the distribution will be called symmetrical. Then skewed asymmetrical means on one side the items are more, the other side items are less. For example, the central value we have calculated that is average. More number of items are there below the average and less number of items are there above the average or opposite, vice versa. This is called skewed data. So skewed may be either negatively skewed or positively skewed. So two methods are there. That is Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness, SKP or Bowley's coefficient of skewness, SKB. The Bowley's coefficient is also known as quartile based skewness. The formula for Carl Pearson is mean minus mode by standard deviation. This is the formula given by Carl Pearson for coefficient of skewness. Bowley's coefficient of skewness Q3 plus Q1 minus 2 median divided by Q3 minus Q1. That's it. These are the only formulas available for calculating the skewness. So before starting the fifth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems on skewness which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problems before start watching the video. Take the screenshot of the solution of fifth problem then I'll explain. Come on, see the fifth problem. Calculate Bowley's coefficient of skewness from the following data. Specifically given Bowley we have to method. Apply mid values frequencies. See here, mid value will be there whenever there is a class interval. When there is a class interval, there mid values will come. So in other words, this is a problem of continuous series where class interval is not given we have to find out the class interval by using the mid values we have to convert the mid values into class interval and make a continuous frequency distribution after converting it into convert uh, con continuous frequency distribution then we can calculate the median and quartiles with the help of that we can find out the Bowley's coefficient so how to convert the mid values into class interval? Already we have done the problems in measures of central tendency. Again, I'm showing it here. So calculation of Bowley's coefficient of skewness. First mid values are given 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250. These are the mid values given. Now we have to convert it into class interval. How to convert the mid values into class interval? Here I have given the explanation. The difference between two mid values is 25. So if you closely watch these mid values, the difference between two mid values will be 25. 75 to 100, 25 is the difference. 100 to 125, 25 is the difference. 125 to 150, 25 is the difference. In all the mid values, the difference between two mid values is 25. Now half of 25, make it half. So half of 25 is 12.5. Now 12.5 should be deducted from mid value to get lower limit. And 12.5 should be added to mid value to get the upper limit. So here I have written deduct 12.5 from mid value to get lower limit and add 12.5 to get upper limit. For example, 75. First mid value is 75. 75 minus 12.5. So you will get 62.5. This is the lower limit. 
and 75 plus 12.5 you will get 82.87.5 this 87.5 is the upper limit the first mid value is 75 for this lower limit is 62.5 upper limit is 87.5 the class interval will be 62.5 to 87.5 lower limit 62.5 upper limit 87.5 now we can prove uh, whether we have done correctly or not mid value means upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 so on calculator if you take 62.5 plus 87.5 divided by 2 you will definitely get 70 you will definitely get 75 check it yourself similarly second 100 minus 12.5 you'll get 87.5 then 100 plus 12.5 you'll get 112.5 class interval over similarly 125 minus 12.5 you'll get 112.5 125 plus 12.5 137.5 similarly 150 minus 12.5 137.5 150 plus 12.5 162.5 like this like this you have to calculate you have to convert these mid values into class interval frequencies are given in the problem as it is whatever is given in the problem same frequencies now we need cf for calculating median and quartiles we require cumulative frequency first one 35 35 plus 40 75 75 plus 48 123 123 plus 100 223 like that we have calculated cf the last CF must be equal to N. Calculate N, you are getting 500. And the last CF is also 500. That means our calculations are absolutely right. Correct? Over. Now we'll proceed to calculate median. Median class. First of all, you have to find out what is the median class. Median class is equal to size of N by 2. So N is 500. So 500 by 2, 250. Locate 250 or next higher in CF column corresponding class is the median class. So 250 here 348. 348 is higher than 250. So what is the class interval here? 162.5 to 187. 162.5 to 187. This is the median class. So median formula L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into I. L stands for lower limit 162.5. N by 2 already we have calculated 250. CF means cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. Before the median class. Median class 162.5 to 1. Before this 137.5. What is the CF here? 223. And what is the frequency of the median class? 125. So 223 by 125. You can see here 223 divided by 120 into I. I means width of the median class. What is the difference in the median class? 25. 25 is the difference. Now 162.5 as it is. 250 minus 223 divided by 125 into 25. You solve it this, you will get 5.4. So 167.9 is the median. Next comes lower quartile Q1. First we find out. Same procedure how we have calculated the median. Same method you have to apply for q1 also the only difference is divided by 4 here we have taken divide by 2 median will divide the series into two parts quartiles will divide the series into four parts the so size of n by 4 500 by 4 125 locate 125 or next higher in cf column corresponding class is the q1 class so 125 higher is 223 the higher of 125 is 223. The corresponding class is 137.5 to 162.5. 137.5 to 162.5. Now Q1 is equal to L plus N by 4. See, same formula only here 2, here 4. Now with lower limit 137.5, N by 4, 125, CF. Cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median, like preceding the Q1 class. So Q1 class is 137. Before Q, Q1 class, this one. So 123 by 100. Frequency is the frequency of the Q1 class. Q1 class frequency is 100. Divide by 100. So 123 by 100 into 25. You will get 138. 138 is the Q1. Now lastly, up, 
upper quartile Q3. Same formula, only 3n by 4. Q3 class is equal to size of 3n by 4. 3 into 500 divided by 4, 375. Locate 375 or next higher in CF column. 375 or next higher, it is 428. 428 class interval 187.5 to 212.5. So 187.5 to 212.5, this is a Q3 class. Now Q3 is equal to L plus 3N by 4 minus C of by F into I, as it is. The so lower limit 187.5, 3N by 4, already we got 375, minus CF. CF means cumulative frequency of the class preceding the Q3 class. Q3 class is 187. So before 187, it is 162.5 to 348. So 348 by 80. 348 by 80 into I. Substitute will get 195.9375. We got the median, we got Q1 and we got Q3. Now simply we substitute the values in Bowley's coefficient of skewness, SKB. Q3 plus Q1 minus 2 median divided by Q3 minus Q1. Simply substitute. Q3 195.9375, Q1 138, minus 2 into median, median is 167.9, divided by 195.9375 minus 138. So first you open the bracket 167.9 into 2, you will get 335.8. Now this 195.9375 plus 138 minus 335.8, you will get minus 1.8625. Denominator 195.9375 minus 138, 57.9375. So finally the SKB is minus 0 0.032. This is the Bowley's coefficient of skewness. There is negative skewness in this data. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 5. Come on, now we'll start the sixth problem. So before starting sixth problem, take a screenshot of the solution of sixth problem. Come on, see the problem. From the following data, compute to Bowley's coefficient of skewness. This is the last problem on Bowley. So again, continuous series is given, sales are given rupees in thousands, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, like that. Last one, 90 to 100. And number of firms, this is the frequency. So straightforward problem, directly no complications, nothing. Calculation of co Bowley's coefficient of skewness. Sales are given as it is, whatever is given in the problem, same thing I have taken, class interval. Number of firms, this is the frequency. For calculating median and quartiles, always we require CF, cumulative frequency. So 30, 30 plus 195, 225, 225 plus 240, 465, 465 plus 115, 580, like that we have calculated CF. So last CF must be equal to N. 680 is then last CF, 680. That means our calculations are right. Now first we calculate the median. Median class is equal to size of n by 2. So 680 divided by 2, 340. Locate 340 or next higher in CF column. Corresponding class is the median class. So higher than 340, we have 465. Higher than 340 is 465. Next higher. Against 465, what is the class interval? 30 to 40. So we can take the median class 30 to 40. Median class. Now formula for median L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into I. Lower limit is 30. N by 2, 340 already we have calculated. Minus CF. CF means cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. Median class is 340, 30 to 40. Before 30 to 40, what is the CF? 225. So we will take the CF to 225 and F is 240. So 225 divided by 240 into 10. 10 is the width. So 30, 
340 minus 225 plus uh, divide by 240 into 10, you'll get 4.79. So 34.79 is the median. Calculate it. Now lower quadrant Q1, same formula, same procedure as of median. The only difference divided by 4. So size of N, size, Q1, Q1 class is equal to size of N by 4. 680 by 4, 170. Locate 170 or next higher in CF column. Corresponding class is Q1 class. So 170, higher than 170 is 225. 225 is higher than 170. So class interval 20 to 30. So Q1 class is 20 to 30. Q1 is equal to L plus N by 4 minus CF by F into I. Same formula. Here we have taken N by 2. Here we will take N by 4. Lower limit is 20. N by 4, 170. CF. So 20 to 30 is a pile. That means preceding. 20 to 30. Before 20 to 30, 30. 30 divided by 195. 30 divided by 195 into 10. Now yeah, simplify. 170 minus 30 divided by 195 into 10. 27.18 is the Q1. First quarter, lower quarter. Now third quarter, upper quarter Q3. Q3 class is equal to size of 3n by 4 because it is third quarter, 3 fourth. So 3n by 4, 3 into 680 by 4, 510. Locate 510 or next higher in CF column corresponding class is the Q3 class. 510 or next higher, it is 580. 580 is higher than 510. So what is the class? 4250. So Q3 class is 4250. Q3 is equal to L plus 3N by 4 minus C of by F into I. Lower limit is 40. 3N by 4 is 510. CF. Cumulative frequency in the class preceding the Q3 class. 4250 is the Q3 class. So 4250 preceding is 465. So 465 by 115. 465 by 115 into 10. So now simplify 510 minus 465 divided by 115 into 10. You'll get 3.9. 43.91 is the Q3 third quarter. We got the median, we got first quartile, we got third quarter. Simply we substitute in the formula of Bowling. Remember, the complete statistics depend on formulae. If you are perfect on formulae, you can do any problem. Otherwise, if you have not understood, if you, have, if you do not remember the formula, the subject will be very, very tough. I told you simply watching the video is not enough. It is only 50% of your preparation. Remaining 50% is your practice. I am explaining the procedure concept. But you can get the command only by practicing the problem. Already you got the sheet of the problems. From that sheet, try to solve it yourself. If you are unable, if you are stuck at any place, again uh, see the video, find out what I have explained, follow the same procedure, you will get the command. There is no shortcut in getting the command. Now, Q3, SKB, Bowley's coefficient of skewness formula, Q3 plus Q1 minus 2 median divided by Q3 minus Q1. So all these values we have 43.91 plus 27.18 minus 2 into median median 34.79 divide by q3 minus q1 substitute you will get the answer skb 0.09 there is a positively skewed data positively low degree 0.09 that's it so this is the end of problem number six totally six problems on skewness i have explained one more video is there on skewness, then we'll go to the next.